fight commentary breakdowns here. We have Kyokushin guy on the left. Ooh, Taekwondo guy throwing a spin kick. Is he ITF, guys? He looks like he's ITF. This doesn't look like WT. This was 2004. It was like a China-Russia invitational. So most of these guys are either Russian or Chinese. In fact, the Taekwondo guy looks Chinese, which makes sense because Taekwondo is the most popular martial art in China, believe it or not. It's not Kung Fu. It's because Taekwondo was in the Olympics. Anyways, so, ooh, Taekwondo guy trying to spin kick, mistimed the range. The ref says that doesn't count. This looks like, oh, to the face. Wow. Karate guy definitely felt that. He just has to shrug that off. Wow. Wow. Ooh, this. Okay. Karate guy knocked the Taekwondo guy down. Wow, very competitive match, man. Taekwondo. Oh, oh, that was a. Ooh, either hit to the solar plexus or hit to the liver. So it looks like. The Russian karate guy won. Here we have another Taekwondo versus karate. It looks like all the Taekwondo guys, Taekwondo guys, the Taekwondo guys are Chinese and the karate guys, the Kyokushin guys are Russian. So it looks like no punches to the face, but you can kick the face. So it looks like it's sort of Kyokushin rules. Unless guys, unless in um, WT Taekwondo, you also can't punch to the face, I believe. So... Correct me if I'm wrong. Again, I don't know too much about Taekwondo. All I know is Taekwondo guys are among the most delusional. They're like on par with Wing Chun people. It's just Taekwondo people got better kicks than Wing Chun. So, you know, they can get away with their delusions a little bit more because I got my black belt in two years. Oh my God, I'm the best Taekwondo guy. So it looks like this guy also ate a kick to his, probably it was a liver. So... Man, this guy just got, this guy just got taken out too by some kind of, yeah, that looks like a liver, right? That looks like a, or a rib. I don't know. So this Kyokushin guy just won too. The Taekwondo guy loses in a graceful way. Here's another round. Taekwondo guy with a sidekick. Karate guy has his guard up high, you see that? He's anticipating the kicks to the face. Look at that axe kick by Taekwondo guy. I just don't get why they don't set up these cool kicks with lesser kicks, if you know what I mean. Okay, this Taekwondo guy's pretty competitive. He's a little bit too bladed for my liking. Um, karate guy seems to be... Okay, karate guy's got the distance down. You cannot be in kicking range with Taekwondo guy. I think karate guy's slowly learning this. Great leg kick by Taekwondo guy. There we go, guys. Taekwondo does have leg kicks. Dude, this Taekwondo guy might finally beat the Karate guy. I don't know why Karate guy's a little shy to engage. What is this? By the way, bare knuckle. Look at that. Oh, great leg kick. Roundhouse kick by Karate guy. Dude, uh-oh. Oh, Karate guy is inching forward. Uh-oh. It's Karate guy's territory. No, don't. No, Karate Taekwondo guy, what are you doing? Don't let him dictate the pace, Taekwondo. He was doing so well earlier. Oh, 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 oh. Man, if that rolling thunder landed. Oh, my God. Oh, I thought no punches to the face. Unless he was punching the chest area. Ow, that was a great... Kick to the inside thigh. Dude, Taekwondo guy is so scared. Oh, don't get your kidney punched. Oh, that was a knee to the thigh, bro. Whoa. A knee to the inner thigh. Look at this Taekwondo guy. His tofu, his dobok is so out of whack now. A little attempt at a spin kick makes Taekwondo guy fall over himself. It's the beginning of the end, man. Taekwondo guy is fighting in desperation. Woo! Wow, dude, I was rooting for this Taekwondo guy so hard, man. Oh, man. All right, so. Come on, come on. Look at this pop star looking dude. I think they just gave it to Karate Guy. Look at that. The Chinese team, the Taekwondo team is like, oh, no, we're getting defeated by these Russians. 
So if you read the banner in the back, this was 2004. It took place in a city in China called Dalian, and it was part of some kind of competition where they invited Russians. They didn't specify which city, so they literally said Dalian, So imagine if we said Los Angeles, Canada. That's what they did. That's the equivalent. It would have been much cooler if they invited a specific city, like a sister city of Dalian from Russia. You know, knowing the population of Russia compared to China, there's probably not enough people if you just invite one city. So that's why they had to pull from all of Russia. So in a way, this was unfair towards the Chinese team because they, from at least how the competition was labeled, only had Taekwondo practitioners from one city, Dalian, whereas they had the entire Russian karate community to pull from. Anyways, guys, I hope this shows you a gap between Kyokushin and Taekwondo. I'm not saying Taekwondo isn't effective, but if I were to train a style that's traditional, although it's arguable whether Taekwondo is really traditional, I would train Kyokushin over Taekwondo or train mostly Kyokushin and then add some flair from Taekwondo kicks. Okay, guys, a lot more to come. Thank you guys so much. Leave your comments.